In the words of Carmine Lupertazzi, see, let's see who the first one to get that reference. I didn't want to do this. But I couldn't let this, this article go from Bounding into Comics after just doing this story. Epic Games removes police cars from Fortnite amidst ongoing U.S. protests against police fucking brutality. Meanwhile, 90 people get shot in Chicago, including a, li a little three-year-old boy, and none of these activist groups give a fuck. This is why I hate activism. This is why activism is useless. Okay? Because they... The problem is, if they achieve their goal, they have to disperse. But they never do. Like, for years, we heard from the LGBTQ activists that we're just fighting for equality. We just want to have the same rights as straight people. And then they got it in a Supreme Court decision, and they predictably said the same sentence that has been uttered by every single one of these cocksucking groups. It's a step. But we have a long way to go. Yeah, the problem is there is no end goal. They just get more and more ridiculous. Now, I don't know a lot about the Fortnite game. I've never played the fucker. I don't know anything about it. Um, sorry, this is me be being the old man gamer. But Epic Games removed police car imagery from their massively popular game game Fortnite as protests against police brutality. How the fuck is this going to solve anything? What the fuck does this do except another company virtue signaling by doing something completely fucking useless? They're being replaced with generic white motor vehicles. Oh no! Shouldn't have made them white. That's racist. I mean, it's it's like it's like the Aunt Jemima thing. Every single black YouTuber I seen, the only thing that in defense of it was a satire video. Every single black YouTuber was like, "What the fuck? Why are you bothering with syrup?" And by the way, there you go. Mother of the Atlanta cop charged with murder, fired. What the fuck did she do? Anyway, has they removed cop cars from Fortnite in response to protests over police brutality? What does this do? Oh, that's right, nothing. Not a goddamn thing. I wouldn't say it's a political statement. Yes, it is. Why would you fuck with your game at that point? It's a political statement. Like when Rockstar decided to have the stupid little Black Life Matter. <laughs> Go suck a dick. Black Lives Matter, go to fucking hell. I'm fucking done with you. I'm fucking being done being nice to you. You don't give a fuck about black lives. Otherwise, you would have been protesting the 90 people shot in Chicago. But no, you only give a flying fuck if it fits a very specific narrative. So go fucking suck a dick. I think we're just being sensitive about the issues many people in our audience are dealing with. This is why I'm, uh, this is why hashtag proudly insensitive. I don't give a fuck if I hurt your feelings. Anyway, uh, they said it's not a joke. Interestingly, lo uh, they didn't remove a loading screen. I, I don't care. This is the dumbest thing. How is this going to fucking fix anything? It's a stupid game. I, I just... Uh, th this, is, this is virtue signaling, pure and simple. Who the fuck cares if there's cop cars in fucking Fortnite? Who gives a fuck? What does that do? Why don't you people care more about the 90 people shot in Chicago, one city, 
over one weekend. Why don't you care more about the fucking Chaz or Chop or Chippy or whatever the fuck in Seattle? Why don't you care about the fucking appalling black-on-black crime rate? Oh, wait, it doesn't fit your narrative, so you don't give a fuck. This is why I hate activism. This is why I hate activist culture because they don't actually give a shit. I really, I, 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 I truly do not fucking, I, I fucking hate them. I fucking hate every, every fucking activist thing out there. the The only time I would maybe fucking uh, accept it is if they had a clear defined goal, and when they reach that goal, they just quit. That was the end of it. We got what we wanted. Let's go home. But it's never enough for these fucking losers. Hey, Black Lives Matter, maybe if you bothered to work and improve your community, the crime rate would go down. You ever think of that? Oh, wait, no. Anytime anybody pumps money into it, it's gentrification. Oh, God, shut the fuck up. I'm so fucking sick of this. I'm so goddamn fucking sick of this. When is one of these corporations going to just say, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. You fucking, you fucking basement dwelling Twitter activists that live with your mom and still get an allowance despite the fact that you're 28. I don't care if I lose your business. Fine. I take that back. Domino's did. Seriously, they just like, we don't give a fuck. Fuck you. We know you'll, well, you, we know your pot smoking hippie activist ass will get high and order our pizza anyway. And in reality, when people say, I'm going to boycott it and never buy it again, generally it's for about two weeks and the sales return to normal. Oh, God. they These people better hope I'm never fucking made president. Anyway, that wraps up this son of a bitch.